Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. Today, I want to show you how to use Terapeak on eBay short video because it provides that information on sold comps and maybe if it's a hard to find book, you know, how often it's sold and what kind of pricing information where you could expect to sell your book. So it's a question we get oftentimes as when we're, we're booksellers, uh, especially it doesn't matter if you're new or if you're experienced, you've been doing it for a while. Coming up with your good comps, your comparisons, price comparisons for what to price a book so that you can get the most out of it for, you know, you can balance that, that profit versus maybe a quick flip. It's, it's, it's important and it's, there's a good resource on eBay. It's called Terapeak. So it, it's changed over the years. It used to be I didn't hardly use it at all because you didn't have much historical data, but now you can get up to two years of sold data on eBay. So what I'm going to do, it's a book that I just bought recently, The Quantum Theory of Fields. It's volume three. I'm going to break away and just show you on the eBay screen capture how you get to Terapeak, what you type in and the type of information you can get. So hopefully you'll find it helpful. It's 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 a good tool. It's out there and you might as well utilize it. So cut away and here's here's how you use Terapeak. Okay, to get into the Terapeak res research for your pricing data, you just go to the eBay page and then you're gonna need to go into your My eBay, your seller hub. So very simple, just go down My eBay seller hub and you'll see all these things along the top. And what you're looking for is the research tab. There's tons of information in these tabs if you've never explored them, but the Terapeak is under research. It's gonna be the first one, the Terapeak pricing research. When you hit that, now you're in the, the research page, okay? And it's a simple search bar. It defaults to the seven days of, you know, sold data within the last seven days and you hit submit. So in this case, while I could enter the UPC code, I'll just enter the text words from the title and the author. I'll leave it with the default seven days and I'll hit, you know, the research or submit return button. And, and you can see that I could have chosen, I could have refined that to, you know, by a category, but I just left it in all categories. And what it returned here, you can see, is that nothing really sold of this book in the last seven days. So instead of sold, it says it's active. It's defaulting to the active items that, that match that search. That's more like a list comp, right? But I can go and drill down to get the last two years data, which is amazing that you can get two years worth of data here. I select two years and say submit. Now I can look and it's not active listings. They're actually show, shows, shows sold items, right? And again, two years chronologically ordered. You can get all the sales data, you know, pr average price, the price ranges, the amount of free shipping. Then it has, there's a, a graph there that you can do a mouse over and see what, you know, how much things sold on particular days. And then all those individual listings are chronologically ordered below this. So you can scroll down and, and hit those and, and actually drill down for more info. Now, in this case, when I do that, I see that, you know, I'm getting books that are not like the volume I had. You know, it's there so I could refine my search by just putting in the number three, since this was this quantum fields volume three. I hit the three and I'm going to keep make sure I'm still looking at two year data. And I resubmit, and all that data is now updated. And I can see my exact volume, and I can get good pricing data. Now, this used to only be for people with eBay stores, but in 2021, eBay changed this, and it's open to all sellers now. It's a great resource for finding your pricing. Just drill down and use it, and, and you'll like it. So that's it. That's uh, It's pretty straightforward. And, and, you know, this might not be something that you... You know, you could, I think you can get this on your phone. This was obviously on a desktop on a computer, but it's like, this might not be something that you do while you're in a store, but it might be something you do your quick sold comps or it's something you have a good feel about and you're trying to refine it, um, you know, what your pricing should be or just to research what pricing should be. It's a good tool and um, pretty straightforward to use. You can do it with the UPC code to type in whatever you want, just like, just like I showed. So hopefully that's helpful and uh, use it. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Remember, see you cool. Bye cool.